So I'm starting to get very close to having every single item in Block Shroots, but there is one of them that I've never managed to get my hands on, and I've been meaning to check out for a very long time. Today is the day that we are finally going to get the bazooka, and not just get the bazooka, we're also going to fully upgrade it, including the new blacksmith. So uh, yeah, guys, you can do some upgrading with the blacksmith, and it allows you to make pretty much any item you have even stronger. <laughs> So yeah, uh, apparently the bazooka is actually one of the legendary ones when it comes to upgrading. So I really want to check it out. All right, so I made my way to the second C. We're actually going to have to get all the way down to the first C. Yeah, guys, that's how long it's been since I could have actually had this. You can pretty much get this item. I mean, honestly, you could get it at the beginning of the first C, but I, I would say most people get it around like near the end. All right, baby, with that, we are back in the first C and it's about time that we set out to get ourselves the item we're looking for for <laughs> now let's see we're gonna have to go to the sky island and it's all the way over there so uh yeah the journey's gonna take a minute all right at the bottom of the sky islands and we're gonna have to go all the way to the tippity tippity top so let's go by the way guys quick side note in the latest update because of the way they actually changed dashing you could now do like these crazy like dash jumps if you jump and dash at the same time as you guys can see i'm just going crazy high i'm going crazy fast as well so yeah cool little tip right there <laughs> uh but yeah we're gonna have to go even higher so here we go and i think we can head down here with a dark slash but you don't wait 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 they changed it wait i think they made a change wait what is this crap previously uh, you have to do some crazy explosion to get rid of the cloud but now you can just jump here in the corner look you don't even need the what bro that bro that's a bad change i don't like that one okay whatever well we're gonna take out uh this guy right here so i'm sorry but we're gonna have to actually i was gonna say steal your kill but you stole my kill i legally claimed him <laughs> oh wait, I had to do I had to I had the door for this whole time. I could have just teleported up here. This guy wants to PvP me. I'm sorry, man. I don't think you want to do this. Yeah, you're dead in one slice, but I, I, I don't know why you want to fight me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, guys, to get the actual bazooka, we're gonna have to get a rare drop from this guy right here. Um, white, 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 Weisper? I'm pretty sure this is the guy that got the bazooka, right? Get out of oh, I just pulled out the bazooka. <laughs> yeah, okay. If you kill him enough times, you have a chance at actually getting yourself the one and only legendary bazooka. So, yeah, I'm gonna be respawning him a bunch of times until we finally get it. I obtained angel wings? Wait, what? Wait, I didn't even know that was an item. What? Okay, that's actually kind of cool. And there it is. We got it. We got the item bazooka. It took us nine tries. Wait! Okay. Okay, I'm an idiot. I think I already had the bazooka. 84, I already, dang it! I already had the bazooka. I thought I didn't have it. I swear I was trying, I was. I looked for it before I started recording. Oh, well, I guess I'm crazy, <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, guys, well, now that we have the bazooka, as you guys can see, we have the ability to just bang, explode people. <laughs> Let me actually uh, quickly do a stat refund. Currently, I got zero stat points and guns. So, I mean, of course, it's not gonna do all that much damage. All right, here we go. Max out gun, and we'll do defense melee. How about that? All right, shkaboom. Oh, yeah. And now you almost die in one hit, huh? <laughs> Dude, 3,300 damage. That's actually pretty good. Sheesh. Also, for my accessory, I'm actually going to be using the hunter's cape uh, just because it makes me run faster, and I like running fast. All right, now we're going to have to get 100 mastery on this thing because I at least want to have alpha wave before I, like, do the upgrade, you know? <laughs> All right, 99. I'm going to just steal this guy's kills. I hate to do it to him. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I killed him. Oh, I didn't mean to kill the... Okay. Okay, I feel bad now here. I'm gonna just leave that damage there. I feel bad. I only needed one level. I, I didn't think I would kill him. Okay, level 100. Here we go. Uh, alpha wave. Let's try it out. Brrah! Dude, I don't even know what I just did. <laughs> Bazooka. Yeah, I think the guy just left. I feel so bad. Okay, whatever. I'll, just, I'll take the levels anyway. Okay, let's move on and see what we're actually gonna need exactly to get ourselves uh, the upgraded version. We're actually gonna need quite a little, quite a couple things. <sighs> Where can I find myself a blacksmith? I don't even know if they're on the new island yet. I might have to go to the second sea. I'm not even sure. Okay, let's go to Middletown. Maybe there's one over here. Yeah, I don't, I don't see one. Here. Let's go to the second sea. No, guys. Actually, one of the items that we're gonna need. I, I already knew of this. Is that we're gonna need ourselves a dark shard. Um, if you don't know what a dark shard is, it is what you get every single time that you kill Darkbeard. If you don't know how to spawn Darkbeard, let me explain. <laughs> to be able to spawn Darkbeard, what you're gonna have to get yourself is a fist of darkness. Now, actually getting one of these is pretty tricky. Pretty much every four hours, if you're in a server and the server has been alive for four hours, you can pick up these chests and every single time you pick one up, there's a very, very small chance that you will get yourself the fist of darkness. Pretty much, it's scattered around the map. There's one of them. First person person to get it will actually get a fist of darkness and you can spawn darkbeard you didn't kill him you get the item but the even faster way to get it is actually going around the sea with a boat and what happens is that every single time you're in the sea with a boat there's a small chance that you will actually
actually spawn Darkbeard. So yeah, just make sure that it actually says C. So if you like travel around, you can see at the top there, boom, now I'm in the sea. If I would be waiting here for like, I don't know, five minutes, uh, there maybe a sea beast would spawn. And uh, then you have a small chance at actually getting a fist of darkness. But I've already prepared this. I already went out of my way and made sure to get myself this footage. And that exactly is how I got myself the shard, which is what I will need to actually give myself an upgrade. <laughs> Yeah, guys, as you can see right there, there's actually a couple people out there trying to get themselves sea beasts. And uh, nowadays, you'll see that more and more often in servers because there's more uses for the Dark Fist. So what you could do is you could literally just join in with them and, uh, yeah, hunt for them together. It's pretty cool. What we're going to do is we're going to go up to the, this, the blacksmith right here. We're going to click gun. And let's see. We're going to need to get ourselves these skill-looking things and mag. We get 25% more damage if we do the upgrade. Oh, my God, dude. This is crazy. <laughs> I didn't even know it would be that big of an upgrade. Dude, that is actually bonkers. Okay, so I think to get the green looking things, I don't remember. I don't want to just check the wiki for everything. So I'm going to just try it out here. Let's go to the Skull Island. And I think maybe these guys here drop it. Or it might be like fish skills. I think they might drop fish skills. Wait, do I have any of them? No, I have none of them. <laughs> That's great. So after some further research, we're actually going to have to go. And first off, we should probably go ahead and get the uh, the magma materials. Uh, because they're going to just be a bunch easier to get. So yeah, we're actually going to kill some of these guys to get ourselves some of the magma. So guys, if you want to get this even easier, you can even go to the first sea, uh, to the magma island, because there it is brain dead easy to get. But actually, why am I punching them? I can just use my bazooka. <laughs> Give me them levels, baby. And actually, just because I want to show off how much easier it is to actually do this in the first sea, I'm going to do it in the first sea, because why not? All right, to the volcano we go. <laughs> oh, and we can kill them in one hit with the bazooka. Oh, you love to see it. <laughs> also, guys, one thing I'd actually like to point out is that the uh, the left click does more damage than actually using my uh, abilities here. Right here, look at this. <laughs> left click, boom, 3,709, which is literally an insta-kill. This, 2,400. What? Ah, there we go. Magma ore. Very nice. And what I can actually do is I can round all of these guys up like this and just with a single shot, kill all of them. <laughs> ah, there it is. Finally, we got ourselves the final piece of magma ore. Very, very nice. Now we're just going to have to make our way all the way to the third C. <laughs> also, for anyone wondering, Zuka is currently at level 160. We're going pretty strong, at least for doing our leveling in the first C. <laughs> Alrighty then, let's head over to Hydra Town. <laughs> now, we're going to start killing the people in this town right here on the outskirts. They should uh, drop us some dragon stuff. <laughs> so yeah, guys, this one is going to take a little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So a little while later, we only need one more dragon skill. And then we will be able to finally call the upgraded bazooka our own. Now, actually, currently, I'm not even using the bazooka because in all honesty, actually grinding up these guys enough and fast enough to give the bazooka EXP. Yeah, it's really slow. <laughs> oh, we got it. There you go, baby. Dragon skill. We now have 10. <sighs> all right, then, baby. Let's go to the blacksmith and finally get our upgrade. Great. <laughs> Moment of truth. Mr. Blacksmith, please. Could I upgrade? I need... 15 dragon skills. Never mind, guys. I'll be back in just a second. I thought I just needed 10. That's so stupid. All right. So we finally managed to get our hands on all the things we need to craft ourselves the next level of bazooka. And yeah, that's it. We can only do one level for now, but boy, this thing should be a lot stronger. <laughs> so let's make our way to chocolate land. Let's try this thing out. And also let's get this to level 250 because I mean, we got her. We got her, right? I was about to say 4,700 damage. What? Okay. That's actually actually ridiculous. That is so powerful. All right, time to bazooka the big mama. <laughs> oh, dude, I love doing this. <laughs> Usually just such a pain in the butt. Uh, I don't think I'll come anywhere near you, uh, Miss Big Mom. I'll just bang. Oh, yeah. And uh, other people are starting to show up now as well. So uh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> oh, and there it is. Give me those levels, baby. Thank you very much. All right, some more levels it is. Okay, we only need 25 more now. And there it is, baby. Come on. Oh, my God. Exactly. Level 250, dude. Let's check it out. Incendiary ammo. Okay. Bang! 5,000 damage! And it leaves fire on the ground? What? Dude, what the heck? <laughs> 
All right, let's try it out again. Come on! Incendiary ammo. Bang! 30k damage, dude. What the heck? <laughs> oh, I love that. Dude, this is a very, very powerful gun. I gotta say, I like it. But yeah, guys, that right there is everything there is to see about the bazooka and also the bazooka upgrade, guys. But that'll see you later, boys. Peace!